Good morning, everybody. Uh, hope all is well with you. Uh, I would like to take some uh, of your time today uh, because I need to talk to you, uh, or tell you about a friend of mine uh, that needs some of our help. Um, her name is Catherine Portillo. Uh, she's an active duty officer, uh, a major actually, uh, in the U.S. Air Force. Uh, and she has been for the last 17 years. Um, on December 5th, in 2015, Catherine and her husband Pavel uh, was on their way to a holiday party when they were struck by a car and they both got severely injured. Uh, Pavel uh, fractured his skull and C1 vertebrae. Uh, the neurosurgeon used a halo uh, to stabilize his several spine and saved his life. Uh, his head was basically hanging from a cord and uh, the doctors told him if you move you die because one of the uh, vertebrae in the neck was standing out like a nail going in like this so if he had moved and it hit the spinal cord his life would be over. Uh, two months later uh, his halo needed to be removed due to an infection. Uh, where one of the screws who, that was drilled into his skull uh, had got infected. Uh, unfortunately, Pavel had a seizure shortly after the halo was removed. He fell and dislocated his shoulder, and uh, it was his second near-death experience. Um, after months of intense physical therapy, he is now back to a normal and grateful to his life. Uh, that he is fully function is a miracle. Uh, that he survived this and uh, the medical team and doctors had made an amazing effort. Unfortunately, Catherine didn't have the same luck. Um, Kat was instantly paralyzed uh, from her shoulders down, uh, leaving her as a quadruplic. Uh, a surgical procedure was conducted to fuse her C3 to C6 cervical spine and left tibia. Um, she is also now dealing with secondary major conditions uh, such as neuromuscular dysfunction and bowel and bladder. Uh, and as a result of this, Catherine needs 24-7 nursing uh, and actually to take care of all her daily living activities. Uh, as I said, Kat is an uh, active duty major in the US Air Force. Uh, she has been for the last uh, 17 years as the Space Superiority Directorate at the Space and Missile Center in Los, Los Angeles Air Force Base. And um, unfortunately now, uh, Catherine will get medically discharged from the Air Force. And uh, that means that she no longer will receive the 24-7 nursing assistance uh, that she needs. Uh, therefore... Uh, they have started a foundation called Strong with Cat, www.strongwithcat with a K, uh, com, uh, where you can go in and donate and uh, help support Catherine and Pavel. And uh, help an of America's finest to have a normal life uh, together with the loved ones and uh, continue to be an amazing person as she is because her persona is still there uh, her love for life is still there her life for humanity is still there um, so please go to strongwithcat.com uh, donate whatever you can and uh, please spread the word and uh, have a continued great day and uh, be safe.